Yo, what is going for body? This is RBT and welcome to my first career mode of FIFA 19 as we are beginning our Real Madrid mini career mode that I will explain how it's going to run in just a second. Now, before I say anything, I'm not even I'm not even going to say an intro like I should say or like you guys expect me to say. This is my channel. I'm going to upload whatever the heck I want to upload. You guys don't want to watch it. Don't click it. Every single episode is going to be uploaded in the middle of the night, so it's not going to mess up your life. Just don't click it if you don't want to see it. Now, if you do want to see it, I want to see how many of you actually support me for me. Not for the game that I play that you watch me, just for me. So if that's you, let's see how many likes we can get on this first episode. And let's see if we can smash, somehow, if we can smash a thousand likes, I'll, like, eat bananas. <laughs> That's not a really good, it's not a really good forfeit, but I'll eat a banana. There you go. That's it. With that said, hopefully you guys are excited for this Real Madrid mini career mode. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are new, turn the notification bell if you have. With that said, this is going to be a Real Madrid mini career mode to test things off in FIFA 19 career mode. So, it's going to be a pretty short career mode. We're going to do a lot of sim, but we're going to do some transfers, play a few games, and the, the ultimate goal is to win back to back to back to back Champions League finals with Real Madrid. I hope you guys are excited. With that said, let's jump right into it. We are going to do everything possible to make this team absolutely insane. And once we finish this Real Madrid career mode, we'll start using some smaller clubs, try to make them absolutely insane. But as of right now, it's a little test career mode. It's probably going to, I'm not sure how many episodes are going to last, but I still think it's going to be a ton of fun to see how we can actually replace Cristiano Ronaldo, as we all know, who did depart this past summer to Juventus. Now, if I could actually like think about what I'm saying, we're going to go to Spain and select Real Madrid. I have not really, I haven't played any FIFA 19, I haven't like really watched any FIFA 19 stuff, so this is all new to me. Real Madrid's transfer budget is going to be 165 million. So we're going to have a ton, a ton of money to uh, replace uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, and hopefully we'll get an absolute megastar today's episode to replace Ronaldo. And also, guys, let me know your transfer suggestions in the comment section below, in the comment section below, to have a chance to be featured in the next episode, which should be tomorrow morning. Now, of course, we'll, we'll just go, we'll rock with Mr. RBT for this series, and kind of disappointed. They didn't change literally any of this stuff with the manager. They could at least, like, put in one or two more faces, but the manager stuff is exactly the same. We're going to pick this guy. So we picked last year, going to pick him again. Now, obviously, I am not from England. It's going to be the first ever American manager of not not United Arab Emirates. It's going to be uh, the United States, but uh, first ever American manager in Real Madrid club history. So we are done we are going to play on Legendary. I do know they added Ultimate this year. First time they've ever added Ultimate into Career Mode. I'm going to stick with Legendary. Like I said, I've yet to play FIFA 19 at all. So we're going to stick with Legendary unless it's way too easy. It's what we played on last year, so everybody played on. So it's not the easiest thing in the world, but for now, until maybe we start winning every game by 107 goals, we're going to keep it on Legendary. And all this, we're going to keep exactly the same. And we're going to advance. A super dope. We're actually going to be able to play the Champions League this year. We're not going to play the Europa, uh, Europa League because we're going to make it to the you know Champions League final and win it. But with that said, the ultimate goal of today's episode is to replace Cristiano Ronaldo with all that cash that we do have in the bank. Now, the way we're not going to play many games in the series. What we are going to do is we're going to play Barcelona both times we come up against them. We'll play any cup finals. We'll uh, we'll play the you know the the uh, Continental Cup in uh, the final if we do make it via simulation. And then we will play the most important Champions League games throughout this series. So hopefully, guys are super stoked in advance. We are going to go into you know why not pick a preseason tournament? Just pick the one with the most money. There's PSG and Juventus, so already Cristiano Ronaldo versus Juventus in the, uh, we're not playing them in our group, but uh, we could play Juventus in the preseason cup, the Agent Elite Cup final. Now guys, it is time. First of all, let's see what players we do want to train. No, 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 back out. We're going to back out and we're going to look at the club and see exactly what all we need to replace to hopefully win no matter what and without a doubt the Champions League in this first year. You know, we'll probably we'll probably end up replacing Kareem Benzema. Bale, he can play striker, so we might can either replace Ronaldo with a right winger or a striker. And if we get a striker, we can keep Bale out on the right. If we buy a right winger, we can move Bale at the striker position. Asensio will probably keep there. 
We're good at like midfields, stack, Cruz, Casemiro, and Modric. And maybe, maybe replace Danny Carvajal if we can get a world class right back. But I mean, look at the bench. We have Isco. We have Mariano, who is going to be, I believe he took number seven from Cristiano Ronaldo, which is pretty insane. Here is uh, Junior, the huge young signing who costs like 40 million pounds. And he's like 17, so that's mental. But maybe just mostly looking to improve the bench a little bit, a little bit more depth. I mean, we're good at goalkeeper. We have Courtois. So most importantly, replace Benzema or a, get a right winger. And I mean, this team should be good, good enough to win the Champions League in year number one, especially if we spend all that money. With the 60% budget increase, we are going to have a total of 265 million pounds. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to spend on somebody that's hopefully going to be mental. Now, what we are going to do is really quick go into the training tab and see what players I do want to begin this career mode off by training. The young superstar players. First of all, Mariano, he's got to be improved. We're going to go ahead and give him the dribbling one. Because the cool thing this year, they didn't add that many things to career mode. But little things like this, like there's a lot of little additions that they didn't really highlight. Like this in the drills when you're like in trying to improve players you can now improve their sprint speed which is obviously we all know sprint speed is like the most important thing in any video sports uh, sports video game that you ever play so mariano we're gonna improve his shooting a little bit and actually we can't do that but we'll improve his long shot next we'll go to i mean we've got to improve his Cinzia, right he can get up to an 86 super quick same thing with him we'll try to upgrade his sprint speed because he's a winger but he only has 80 pace which is not or uh, sprint speed which is not the greatest but we'll try to get him up to an 86 ASAP and also work on his shooting just a little bit. We'll go with this one. Next, let's see who we can... Midfielders, I think we're going to go with Varane. Try to get Varane up to like a 90 overall. We'll just give him the hardest defending uh, training. We'll go ahead and simulate, and hopefully these guys can improve super freaking quick. Now, with that said, I have two players that I am considering who I'm going to replace Cristiano Ronaldo with. You guys probably won't be surprised by some of the players that I'm adding here. First is Mohamed Salah. Had a breakout year last year. Was rumored to go to Real Madrid. He stayed at Liverpool, but we'll have to see how much it costs potentially to bring him in. So he's the first player we are going to add to our short list. Next, the man, the myth, the legend that will probably end up happening, Neymar. Same age as Mohamed Salah, but he's a 92 overall. He's valued at 104 mil, so it would take a ton to bring him in. Next is going to be Kylian Mbappe. Now, I do want to say I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Reason being is because I'm pretty sure since he just permanently signed from a loan, it's going to say he just arrived, and I highly doubt we'll be able to get him. He would be my number one option, but if it doesn't work, I mean, I don't know what else to say. We'll either try to get Mohamed Salah or Neymar. Now, at the right back position, the first guy I'm thinking about potentially getting is Joshua Kimmich. He's at 85 overall. He's worth 35 mil. He's only 23 years old, so he is a higher overall than Danny Carvajal, but we'll have to see if it'll be worth it and see if we have enough money to actually afford Joshua Kimmich. Another player we could potentially replace Cristiano Ronaldo with is Paulo Dybala. And while replacing him, he can play striker so we can replace Kareem Benzema and keep Gareth Bale out on the right and he'll be a huge addition as he is going to progress. He's 89 overall, only 24 worth that will value that 80 mil would probably back 150 mil but Paulo Dybala is another player I would 100% be willing to bring into Madrid to replace Cristiano Ronaldo now after that like those are really the four major players I could see replacing Ronaldo at Real Madrid either in January in real life or the next summer but we are going to replace him now so we have no problems winning the Champions League this first season I don't, I don't want any hiccups throughout this first season now another player potentially this will probably be my last option if like none of the other guys really work or they weigh too much Robert Lewandowski he's a 90 overall 67 million he'll probably only be good to start to regress after this first year but I mean he's a big 90 overall and 100 percent would be worth it if everybody else falls through so with that why don't we go ahead and try to buy somebody Mbappe is going to be my first option, but let's see. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. You can't buy him because he just like came off a loan. 
so that sucks. Um, that already, already likes the socks bad. So Neymar, he can play left wing or camp. Huh. So he can't play striker. Maybe Asensio can move in. We could probably just play Neymar at striker. Uh, Mohamed Salah, he can only play, play right wing. So let's see. If we can get Neymar for sub 200 mil, that's who I think I'm going to go for. I think that is going to be the move. Again, for sub 200 mil, we're going to go out and get Neymar. Maybe we could do a swap deal, swap Benzema potentially, because Benzema's starting to regress. He's plus 30, and we can we can definitely improve Benzema for sure. So let's see, player swap, striker, Kareem Benzema, 84 overall, 30 years old, valued at 26 mil, and they do. Hey, we might actually be getting Neymar already. He's that. Oh, this is the value. Total value of this deal is over 200 mil, but we'd be left with 80 million in the transfer budget. Let's just try to counter this and try to save as much cash as possible. So we'll go with 160 mil plus Kareem Benzema, and their price is set. Let's drop down. Let's just try to save a little. If they if they don't budge like down to 180 mil, I'll just pay it. But I think that's worth it. 92 overall Neymar potentially added to the squad. And it is agreed. Neymar has PSG has accepted a 180 million pound offer plus Kareem Benzema to be added to Real Madrid squad. What the heck? I mean, we all have heard the rumors. Neymar wants to join Madrid. Not gonna happen this year, but in the next few years, it 100% could happen. Everybody's expecting it to happen. But last thing, we have to make sure we can get him. Like, hopefully he's not asking for, like, over a million per week. Because that's just not going to slide. His current wage is only 250 mil. Of course, we're going to give him crucial first team squad a roll. Give him a five-year deal if that's what he wants. And he will, you know, he wants a five-year deal. That works for me. No release uh, clause here. They want a 304 million pound release clause. Which, I mean, I mean, that, if somebody pays 300 mil. Screw it. We'll accept that. If someone pays 300 mil, for sure. He wants 370k per week, 3.45 mil signing bonus, and I 100% am going to accept that. Neymar is now a Real Madrid player. What did we just freaking do? And guys, if we can potentially sell somebody else, we could also maybe sign Mohamed Salah and then just put Neymar on the left side put Salah on the right side and put Gareth Bale in the middle that would be absolutely insane you know what since we're already here why don't we go ahead and try to replace one more player and add Joshua Kimmich to the squad he's the best right back arguably in the whole entire world he's super versatile can play center back center mid CDM so a perfect player to have in your team would start right away he's going to begin to Players not for sale, as the team doesn't have enough depth in this position. So uh, that sucks. So we do get a transfer offer for Lucas Vasquez. And Lucas Vasquez is 27, 83 years old. I would not be completely against signing him to the squad. 38 million pounds we could potentially get for him. I mean, he's 83, 27, he's not gonna progress that much more. If we can get an extra, like, if we can get like 35 mil for this deal, maybe 40, I mean, we could use that to potentially bring in Mohamed Salah as well, which would be insane. Absolutely insane. So, they want to sign him for 30 mil. I've, I've, I've already forgot who this is. I think it's PSG, maybe. They want to, oh, they want the player to replace Neymar. Is this PSG? I don't even remember. Um, let's see. So, would you be willing to give me 40 mil for Lucas Vasquez? An 83 overall who does not even, like, start for us? Only 30 mil. So, let's go ahead and counter... We'll remove the sell on clause and let's see if they'll give me 30. I would take 30. I would honestly probably gonna accept 30 for an 83 overall who's not gonna progress at all. 35 mil, you got the cash. They're going to accept 35 mil for Lucas Vasquez. And it was PSG. We're not gonna sell him because we need our young center backs just in case and the guys to progress. I mean, we, they asked to like bring him in on loan, but maybe be for it, but not for now. So for now, what we are actually going to do is we're going to play Asensio out on the right. We're going to play Bell at striker and Neymar at left wing because I don't think he can only play left wing and can, which really shouldn't matter, but we're going to put him out left wing since Asensio, as you see, can't play right. Can Isco play right wing by chance? He can only play left wing. 
So, I guess this is fine. We changed from a 4-3-3 defend to a 4-3-3 attack. Took out Casemiro. I mean, he's going to be a, bait, a great sub to bring on late in the game if we do have a slim lead. But for right now, this team already looks disgusting. And we have a lot more than I am playing to do with the squad. So, we're going to send out this 63 overall out on loan. And we have the semi-final of the Asian Elite Cup coming up against who other than Liverpool. It's going to be a rematch of last year's Champions League. And we have a transfer offer for Danny Carvajal from Chelsea. How old is Danny Carvajal? If he's like under, he's only, he's 26. If they would give me, if they're going to give me 55 mil for Daniel Carvajal, we will put, we'll sell him. 55 mil, we could replace him. Maybe get Joshua Kimmich next year or get a, like a, 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 a temporary replacement. So they will give me 38 mil. Um, you have to give me 55. 55 and I'll accept nothing. If they give me an offer of 50, I'll accept. But no lower. They're only going to give me 30. Nah, that's just not going to work. Let's remove that. And 50 mil. 50 mil is the bare minimum I'm going to accept. 50 mil. If you're going to give me that, I'll let you have Danny Carvajal. If not, they're going to give me 50 mil for Danny Carvajal. We have got to get a replacement ASAP. And it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Maybe get Kyle Walker. Maybe Kyle Walker is a guy we could replace Danny Carvajal with. Depending, what is, how old is Kyle Walker? Kyle Walker, I believe, well, how old is he? He's like, I think he's 25. If he's just, I don't, let's just see. Let's just see if it's worth it. Kyle Walker, I mean, that would be two huge signings. So Kyle Walker, 28 years old. 28, he could be a decent, like, temporary replacement, though, until we can go out and get Joshua Kimmich, hopefully in January. So maybe we get a nice temporary replacement in Kyle Walker. Now let's see, if they want more than like 30 mil, I don't think I'll accept that. But I mean, I, that's basically we could replace Danny Carvajal with Kyle Walker while making 30 mil. Or maybe if we can make even 20 mil, I think that would be worth it for sure. They might want 40, if they want more than 40 mil, no, that's just not gonna work. I'll be willing to give no more, I'll give 30. 30 mil is the absolute max that I will offer. So we're just gonna go for a straight transfer fee. We'll give, we'll start off by offering his current value and see what they come back and say. They want 37 mil, 37 mil. We'll take, man, let's go with 30. This would still mean we made 20 million pounds. And, oh my gosh, don't do this to me. Don't freaking do this to me, 33 mil. Almost 34 mil. I really want Kyle Walker to be a temporary replacement. There we go. Kyle Walker looks like he's going to be coming to Real Madrid. We're going to make about 20 million in that replacement. And it's not really that big of a difference. And we might be able to sign the better uh, right back, Joshua Kimmich, in January. So, obviously, he's going to have... Let's see if we can get away with important. And they'll take important. That's fine with me. We'll give him like a, I don't know, four-year deal if they'll take that. And they will take that. And last but not least, they don't want to release Claw, so that's definitely not the last thing. And now, last but not least, they want 100. That's that's fine with me. Actually, a dip in his wages. Kyle Walker is going to be the new replacement, the new right back for Real Madrid, hopefully temporarily, until the um, until January. Now, I think he can also play right back. So that's actually a very versatile player to sign. Let me make sure that that is the case. So Kyle Walker. Yeah, he can play uh, center back as well, so that's definitely a nice squad signing. We'll save that. And now we're going to get into the semi-final of the Asian Elite Cup against Liverpool. I want to try to get as much money as possible because I still want to be able to afford a Mo Salah or Apollo Dybala. So Liverpool versus Real Madrid. Who is going to win the semi-final in advance, to, for, uh, potentially against Juventus? They beat us 4-3 in pins. Of course, Mohamed Salah scores against us. Maybe we should have signed Salah instead so we could have beat them. Now, that sucks. Well, this is absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Neymar has an LCL injury, and he's going to be out for two months, all from training. Hmm. That's a, that's a fantastic 200 million spent right there. Perfect. Well, that does suck about Neymar, but to end off today's episode, we are going to play in the UEFA Super Cup against Atletico Madrid. If you guys don't know what that is, the winners of last year's Europa League and last year's Champions League play in a match before the season starts. So like, one of the Real Madrid's rivals going to have to see if we can get the W 
versus our rival with Neymar injured. So how are we going to play this squad here? Why don't we go ahead and give him his first start as a Real Madrid player. Junior going to replace Neymar on the left wing. Let's, should we give him, can Mariano play in the right side? He cannot. So, you know what? Let's play him. He's, he, I mean, he has, like, Cristiano Ronaldo's number. Let's play him. Let's not put out a full strength side because, I mean, I don't want anybody else to get injured. I mean, it's just the preseason cup. No, like, big deal, really. So, let's put somebody young on the bench. We'll go with Gonzalez. And let's go with Fernandez instead of Sergio Ramos. And I think we'll just go out like that. And just kidding we'll put we'll put Casemiro since he does have high morale and I think we'll rock with this squad against Atletico Madrid and hopefully we can lift the first bit of silverware in this series throw in to Tony Cruz that's not the back pass that I wanted to happen but it is what it is Rafael Veron to Casemiro back out to Tony Cruz see if we get this outside the, the pass is go let's go I don't even know who that is I think I think, I don't know what I think. Nice pass inside Mariano with his first Real Madrid assist. Mariano lost the ball, but got a right back pass inside to Isco. Finds the back of the net. We've been playing really sloppy the first 10 minutes, but we have the one nothing lead. We have a man there, had two men there, but neither of them tried to hit the ball, which is kind of dumb, but it is what it is. Pass inside, Casemiro, we have space. How did he just make that? I thought that was all foul. No idea how Casemiro got the shot off with the goal. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> what the freaking heck? Never in a million years did I expect that to make the back of the net, but we go on top of our rival Atletico Madrid 2-0 in the 17th minute. Oh gosh, cross inside. Rafael Varane with the header. Nacho Hernandez gets the ball out. Isco, so if he can hit Bell down that wing again. Gonna be a great pass. See if we can cross this inside and find one of these guys on a run. Bell, oh, nice little play there from Lucas Hernandez. Bell with a nice little touch, cross inside. Nobody's gonna be there. And Diego Godin. Oh wait, we might uh, pressure. Uh, oh, Black, what the heck was that? Oh my, Mariano. Hello? What? What even just freaking happened? How did that? How did that even happen? And how does he even miss that? Mariano, bad. Oh gosh, this has probably been their best attack of the whole entire game. Courtois with the save, that's going to be a goal. Open net. Casemiro with the deflection. Griezmann comes in. Is he offside? No, that's a goal. Oh man, if that deflection from Courtois does not hit one of our defenders. Oh, that's annoying. Wait, I don't... Actually, no, that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. Casemiro with the block, but of course Griezmann comes in. Taps at home past Thibaut Courtois as they take the lead. Diego Simeone is a happy man. Take the lead? They didn't take the lead. They're, only, they're down by one. I'm spewing out nonsense, but that sucks. Of course, a 45th freaking minute goal. But really, they haven't had any like real crazy attacks until that. And a lucky deflection. Giving this pass, ooh, that's probably more likely going to be halftime. But a 2-1 lead, I mean, playing not our strongest. Okay, they have a man wide open. Don't make no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare make this 2 all. Bad. Get this. Eat me. Freaking eat me. Antoine Griezmann. In extra time. Well, in added time in the first half. It's stupid. Freaking idiotic. Two all going into halftime. I'm upset. Isco, somebody you want to make a run? Like today, tomorrow? Tony Cruz. He did a great pass. Great pass. Tony Cruz with the shot. With the goal. He was offside. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. He was barely freaking offside. Hello, that's, that's a goal. That's got to be a goal. Casemiro, second goal of the game. Left foot shot. Gareth Bale with the deflection. We get back a deflection goal to regain the lead. Gareth Bale with the golazo. As we do regain the lead immediately at the beginning of the second half. This is, already our, this is a great start to the second half. Already our second great chance. Gareth Bale, lucky deflection. But I, I think we deserved one after they got that Griezmann goal. Two freaking Griezmann goals in extra time in the first half. Oh my, what the heck? What the heck, Thibaut Courtois? I was, what the heck? I was definitely not aiming that down the middle. I had the freaking analog stick. How old the Marcelo, who was wide open? But no, but Thibaut Courtois slides the pass right to Diego Costa. Gotta love it. Gotta freaking love it. Three all. And with that said, we're gonna make some substitutions. Junior really hasn't done much down that left side. So we're gonna bring on Marco Asensio 
Also, we will bring on Luka Modric instead of Casemiro. Casemiro, I mean, had a couple. I had a goal and then another opportunity you may or may not have saw in the highlights. But, I mean, I, I want to win because I don't want to lose. Bad. No. No. Stupid. Freaking stupid. So, they've scored two. They scored two 45th minute goals. Scored a stupid goalkeeper error pass goal. And a scorpion kick. Freaking, or bicycle kick. Whatever. Like, unbelievable scenes. Need an answer. Instant reply here, please. Mariano, Gareth Bale. Oh, please. I'm begging. I'm begging. That's a goal. That's a goal. Let's go! Instant reply! Instant reply. Isco, Gareth Bale with the deflection. Beautiful play with the instant reply. At least, nonetheless, this has been an exciting match for all. Griezmann, oh gosh, Griezmann had space. This is a goal. This is a goal. I just know it. I just know it. Gelson Martinez, 5-4. 5-4. That's the first real freaking goal they've scored all game long. K Kalin Kalinic? Kalinic? Don't even know who you freaking are. Oh, unbelievable scenes. 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five to freaking 4. Oh, I'm sick. We've got to find a way to score again. It's just got to happen. Like, there's been some crazy stuff going on, and I just, I really do not want to not win this game because that would be upsetting. Extremely upsetting. Scorpion kicks, deflection goals, although, I mean, I had one myself. Oh, Tony Cruz, he had like seven pace. No pressure. No freaking pressure. Hold up play. Find this. Oh, oh, it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, deflection. Sincio. Bad. Eight minutes. Eight freaking minutes to score. Griezmann's gone. Griezmann's freaking gone. Walker, nice play. Nervous. I am nervous. Okay, Modric inside, Asensio, Modric again, please, I'm begging, Luka Modric, the shot, the deflection, oh block with the save, oh please boys, I did not want to lose this, That that's going to be embarrassing to lose with this freaking team, I mean I know I played not like my greatest team, but still, inside, Luka Modric. okay, this has got to be good, this has got to be good, Asensio, oh my, I see you, I see you go, that's a goal, that's a, off the freaking post, off the post, Gareth Bale, off the post. What is going on? Okay, nerve-wracking. This is Asensio, back outside. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, just, just be patient. Be patient with the ball. Inside Asensio. Now to Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz. Okay, can we? Can people move? I'm nervous. I'm a nervous boy. Okay, Gareth Bale. Oh, somebody move. Tony Cruz. Oh, I'm nervous. He has like seven pace. Inside, Gareth Bale. The shot. Right at Juan Oblak. Oh, my Extra time, boys. Three minutes to go. It's only it's only right that we score two freaking 90th minute goals. Isco. Hey, can we win the ball? No, we can't. Yes, we can. Oh, my. Luka Modric. Mariano. Please. Back inside. Oh, my. Asensio. That's a foul. Hey, ref. Hello. Okay. It's Oh, that's, that's, we lost. We just lost. Lamar. Thomas Lamar. It's, it's over. We just lost. Unless we win this. Nah, it's over. We freaking lost 5-4. I don't know what you want me to do. Scored four freaking goals. Scored pink kick. Two 45th minute goals in an 88th minute or sixth. I don't even know when they freaking scored. I'm just upset. I'm upset about it. We lost. I don't want to see. Ridiculous. Well, I guess that's going to do it for the first mini episode of the Real Madrid FIFA 19 career. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. If you want to see another episode out tomorrow, let me know. Let me know your transfer suggestions in the comment section below. Would you rather me get Mohamed Salah or Paulo Dybala? Let me know. That said, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.